Today's lecture is about polymerization of ethene, its mechanism. Ethene has the formula CH2 double bond CH2. When N molecules of ethene polymerize in the presence of peroxide, we get the long chain polymer with the formula bond CH2 single bond CH2 N times. The product formed is known as polyethene. The mechanism follows a free radical mechanism which is occurring in three different steps. The steps are initiation, propagation and finally termination. Now we will see the steps one by one. First, for initiation to take place, we require the compounds known as free radical initiators. The usually used free radical initiators are benzoyl peroxide with the formula C6H5COO twice or tertiary butyl peroxide with the formula ch 3 co twice. Today, we will be taking about benzoyl peroxide. The formula is C6H5 bond C double bond O, single bond O, single bond O, single bond C double bond O, C6H5. It undergoes splitting. That is, the splitting occurs to produce two free radicals. If the splitting occurs resulting in two free radicals, it is equal splitting that is occurring and the reaction is known as homolysis. It results in what is called benzoyl free radical. The formula is C6H5 bond C double bond O single bond O radical. This benzoyl free radical is highly unstable. So it undergoes rearrangement and it forms C6H5 free radical along with carbon dioxide. The phenyl free radical produced later attacks in the second step that is the propagation step. So in the propagation step, we find phenyl free radical attacks the double bond of the monomer unit. The monomer unit here is ethene, CH2 double bond CH2. It results in a long chain free radical, which is C6H5 bond CH2 bond CH2 radical which further reacts with many number of monomer units in the next step. C6H5 single bond CH2 single bond CH2 radical reacts with N molecules of ethene resulting in C6H5 single bond CH2 single bond CH2 single bond CH2 N times single bond CH2 radical. And in the final step known as the termination step we find that two such long chain free radicals join together to form the long chain polymer which is known as C6H5 bond CH2 bond CH2 bond CH2 N times bond CH2 bond CH2 bond CH2, CH2, N times, bond CH2, bond C6H5. The product formed is known as polyethene, which is further simplified and written as C6H5, bond CH2, bond CH2, N times, C6H5. The C6H5 groups that are found at the beginning and the end do not interfere with the properties of the product formed. So the molecule is represented as bond CH2, bond CH2 N times and the product is known as polyethene. To get a better understanding, please go through the mechanism again. Thank you.